Have you heard of Fish Vault? These are mystery gear fishing tackle boxes that you can see here, family and veteran owned. They originally started the company back in 2019 with a company called Hunt Vault, which was a very similar thing, except they were hunting related mystery boxes. Well, what's unique about these boxes from what I've researched online is that they're actually more about fishing gear than they are tackle. So you've got your mystery tackle box and all of those other companies out there. Well, these, I've got two of them. We're gonna do an unboxing today and we're gonna see if they're worth it. But I bought these with my own money, $160 a month, so they're not cheap. You can get them for as low as $150 a month, but you have to sign a 12 year contract. Not interested in that, so I said, I'm gonna try this out for a few months and see how it goes. So the first one, I'll set them down here so you can see top down. The first one arrived in this brown box. This was the October box. I paid for this box on September 25th and I got it on October 6th. So that's only 11 days, which is fantastic. I had heard some rumors out there about people having a long lead time before they got their box. Well, I ran into that issue with the November box, which is the blue one. Uh, this is what they're supposed to look like when they come in the mail. Evidently this brown one, they didn't have the, the nice clean one. So that's why I have two different looking ones, but the brown one's October the blue one's November that we're gonna open up. This November box I paid for on October 20th, $160 came out of my bank account. This was supposed to arrive in November. Usually the middle of the month is what I had heard. I didn't get the box until December 8th. There was very poor communication from the company, but it's around the holidays, it actually isn't. It was kind of, I guess, around Thanksgiving. So maybe we'll give them a little bit of a break there, but it took 49 days from the day that I purchased to actually get the box. I was gonna try to get three boxes. They actually took the money out of my account on November 21st, so a third box, November 21st. Again, what is that, like 15 to 20 days before I even got the November box, they already charged me for the December box. I waited 20 days into December 11th, and I said, you know what, just refund the next box. These aren't coming as frequently or as consistently as I would like. I haven't even checked to see if they're a good deal yet. If these are a fantastic deal, I'll go ahead and re-sign back up and just know that there's gonna be a long delay. So I wanted to start with that just so that you know if you're looking to get these boxes, expect if your experience is like mine, who knows when you're gonna get it. You may get it in a week or two, you may get it in a month or two. To me, I feel like at this price level, maybe there should be a little bit more consistency or at least better communication with the customers. When I went to cancel my monthly subscription after they'd already taken the money out, they did ask me, they said, hey, here's one of the items that's gonna be in it. Are you sure you wanna cancel or do you wanna go ahead? I said, let's cancel and they promptly refunded the money. So good on them for that, really appreciate that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide the blue box out of the way. We're gonna open that one second because that was our November box. This is our October box right here. Uh, so this again came October, 2023. Uh, this box right here, $160. We're gonna open her up and see what's in it. The goal of this video is to hopefully give you an unbiased, honest, transparent review because I paid for these with my own money. I have no affiliation with this company to see is it worth $160 a month for this? I love fishing gear and so I was pretty excited about this, but I'll give you my opinion on if I think it's worth it as we go. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions down in the comments, so let me know. All right, let's open it up. We can see there's a lot of goodies here in the box. First thing I'm, actually, they've got a card in here, it looks like, October 2023 Elite Collection. It says Frog Togs, Fuzzy, and Berkeley. Hopefully that doesn't mean there's a bunch of soft plastic baits because I wanted gear. Uh, Fish Vault, uh, family and veteran owned. And it looks like it goes through everything that's in the box. I'll do a close up so you can kind of see it here. Screenshot this or come back to it or pause if you want to see it. I'm not actually going to look at it right now. I'm going to dig into the box. So first thing that I grab here is a finesse swim jig. Uh, this is considered tackle. Uh, so I was hoping to get not a whole bunch of this. So hopefully we didn't get a whole lot. Uh, but this is something I will definitely use in the open water season. When you sign up for these boxes, they ask you a few questions. They ask if you're a male or female. They ask your shirt size. They ask if you have a freshwater or saltwater preference or both. They ask your shoe and glove size. And they ask your birthday month. So I'm hoping to see all freshwater products in here. So finesse swim jig, power bait, silicone skirts, three ace ounce. And this is the Bama Bream color pattern. Pretty nifty. I'll definitely put that in my assortment for 
uh, open water fishing this upcoming season. It's ice season right now. The finesse swim jig, according to them in the box on this card, is $5. All right, next up, we've got from Fuzi. It is a thermal capsule, large for iPhones and Galaxy phones. Well, here's the problem. I never told them I had one of these phones and I don't have one of these phones. Uh, let's take it out of the package. I have a Motorola Razr, one of the flip phones that has an inside and outside screen. Uh, it's a thermal capsule, antimicrobial, integrated Aegean technology, extends battery life, sink proof, so it floats in the water, drop proof. Oh, so it's just like a waterproof pouch or something that floats. It's a thermal capsule, cold and heat protection. Let's get her opened up here. So this is what it looks like. I mean, I would imagine this thing probably costs $5 on Amazon, maybe not. Uh, we'll try to find the prices of these things and get them in the video for you. That's that. According to this sheet uh, from them, it says this is a $40 value. Looks like we got a, a package here that ripped open, but that is okay. It is a deluxe cord stringer from Berkeley Fishing Gear, so we can see it kind of came off here. Uh, but it is a cord stringer, so we got ourselves a long rope and then of course our normal stringer attachments here. I don't use these, there's not a whole ton of value. Let's see what they said it was worth according to their card here. This is a $13 value. Next up, we've got a fish gripper. It is a lip grip, uh, so you can see right here. It's got a tape measure on it, it's got a gripper, and you've got your normal gripping action here to grip the fish. I imagine this is for uh, probably your bigger fish. They call it out as the safe way to handle and measure big fish. So you grip it and then you measure it. Kind of a cool concept. I don't have one of these. I normally don't have any issues uh, netting my fish and pulling them in. Uh, so I don't know how much I'll use it. According to their card, this is a $45 value. All right, next up we got some Berkeley Fireline. This is eight pound smoke colored. Not too bad, nice to have I guess on hand. This isn't the type of line that I usually use, but uh, I'll definitely give it a shot. What's the value that they put on this? This is a $15 value, it's 125 yards. We've also got Frog Togs. It looks like all sport camo jacket and pants suit. Uh, interesting. So it's a, it's a rain suit. All right, well let's take it out of the package and see what we're dealing with here. So we got, oh is it a one piece suit? Oh, it's even got a hanger on it. Oh no, you've got, you've got separate pieces here. So we've got the jacket, pretty nice. It's like a, like a foamy, like you can tell it's got a waterproof material on it. This would be good to store away. I've got a really nice rain suit, uh, but this would be good kind of to have like an extra width or if you got somebody with, so this will definitely get stored away and brought out on fishing trips. Um, and then we've just got some simple frog tog pants. They, like, they, they, they're, they feel like really cheap material. Um, but they probably work well and I think the idea is that they're really lightweight and flexible. So we got this guy here, according to their card, these frog togs, these are worth $80 and this is considered the mossy oak element in black, the all sport rain suit. So that's what we're working with here. And last but not least, we did get a Berkeley Balsa Action hit stick. So this is the 13 size half ounce. So that's what we're working with here. This is the stealth minnow color. You can take a look here to see what the coloring of it looks like. Not bad. And it is a floating bait. According to their card that they have here, the hit stick has a $9 value. All right, real quick before we go to the next box, let's just take a quick look at here at what was included. I paid $160 for this. I would put a value of maybe 50 bucks on this suit. I would put a value of maybe $5 on this insulated thing. So that gets to 55, 
you know, maybe five bucks worth of line here, 60. I don't, I'm not gonna use this stringer, uh, but I'd say maybe five, 10 bucks. So let's call it 70, uh, $5 for a swim jig, which I will, I will use this. Uh, so that gets us what, 75, the hit stick. This is not typically a bait that I'd use, but the goal again of a lot of these boxes is to introduce you and maybe encourage you to use things you haven't tried. So I'll definitely give it a try, but I think these are normally worth like, called it $9, I'll call it, you know, sure, well, let's, let's put, you know, 750 on it. So whatever I'm at there. And then this guy, I, I have no intention of actually using this. I've got a lot of other good fish grippers and things, uh, but if I didn't have one, I'd say this is maybe worth 10, 15 bucks. So I would say this box definitely didn't get my value out of it in terms of $160. Uh, I don't know why they gave me a phone case uh, that doesn't really have a ton to do with fishing. You know, that's kind of an interesting one. But overall, I guess if you're looking for any of these pretty basic products, this could be good for you or if you wanted a suit. But the thing is, is with the value that I even uh, put on them it's personal value, right? I could probably go out and buy all of these things for less than $160 if I find them on sale. So with that, let's go ahead and open the next box that we have. Hopefully that one's a banger because maybe they've got boxes like this and then they've got really good boxes and it all kind of averages out. Let's get into that next box. All right, here we go. This is the, what was the November 2023 box, again, that I got uh, in the middle of December uh, on this guy here. But it's in the really nice box, the box that are supposed to come in. So my guess is this is gonna be a banger of a box. I really hope it is, because I spent $320 between these two boxes. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'll open it sideways here, so that way you can kind of see as we go. Uh, quite a bit of open space in here. Let's see, do they have their card in here? The normal like card of like what's included? They don't. So that's interesting. They don't have the card in here that says what the value of the items are. I don't know if that's normal to not have included. But anyways, let's just go through the products then. First thing we got here is a six inch emergency pressure bandage. So place the pad over a wound, apply pressure while rolling the bandage, wrap tightly, press to attach. I guess maybe if I cut my arm open or something like that. Interesting, I guess as a safety item uh, for in your boat, I call this maybe what, $5 worth of value? Not 100% sure. Don't know the value that they assign to it either because I don't have that card in here. But let's go ahead and, and keep going. Balling out jig which I kind of like, but again, this is tackle, this isn't gear, uh, but that is okay. It's a quarter ounce watermelon red. Uh, this thing looks pretty cool. It's the green and the red. Again, I will use this targeting bass in open water when spring comes around. That will be good. Oh, look at this, we got some food. Not sure what it has to do with, uh, with fishing or why it would be in a fishing gear box, but we got Kodiak Flapjack Power Cup, buttermilk and maple, 10 grams of protein. It looks good, but I'm not 100% sure why it's in a fishing gear box, but this is, uh, this is what we're working with here today. Next up, we got zipper lubricant. It maintains zippers for you in case you uh, need to lube up your zippers on maybe jackets and things like that. Lubricate plastic, metal, or watertight zippers on wetsuits, dry suits, tents. So this is this is actually, this could be a useful item, but yeah, so we got this guy. Next up, let's grab this other small thing that we see back here. Ooh, I'm a big knife fan. Uh, so this looks kind of cool. So it's a Gerber Chonk multi-tool. Uh, we can see it's six tools, travel friendly. Travel friendly, is it not a knife? Oh, it's not. It's not a knife, that's why it's travel friendly. It's got, so it's got a belt clip on it that we can see here. It's got the pocket clip, the bottle opener, it's got a pry bar, small flat driver, nail puller, wire stripper, flat drive, medium flat driver. Interesting, so this would be definitely a tool to just like throw in your arsenal in case you needed something to pull out a nail in your boat. I don't know why you'd have a nail in your boat, but I guess for that, if you need to open a bottle, if you needed to travel on a plane while maybe fishing or something. Stainless steel, stonewash aluminum scale. I mean, it looks really cool. I don't know. 
Might use it, we'll see. All right, next up we got the Garmin Rugged Handheld GPS, the eTrex 22X. I know nothing about this. So this includes preloaded uh, topo active mapping with routable roads and trails, 25 hour battery life, IPX7 water rating. So there we go, it's a rugged handheld GPS. This I think would be good for hunting, but this is a fishing box. What does it say here? Rugged handheld GPS with enhanced mapping and navigation, multi GNSS support preloaded with topo active maps. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on this guy how it's gonna help me if I'm fishing, because this seems topo, which gives me the idea of this would be on land. But if you know anything more about these guys, go ahead, drop it down in the comments and let me know maybe how I'd want to use this. I'll have to do some research on it. But uh, something interesting, I wouldn't expect it to be in a fishing box. I could see in their hunt box, maybe this is an extra item that they had from their hunting. Uh, probably this guy too, uh, from the hunting box. Actually, they probably use this from the hunting box as well. Maybe this guy, maybe this is the hunting box. Doesn't it kind of look like it? All right, waterproof case. So this is the dry lock, Plano waterproof case. These always come in handy, especially when you're on the water, which is nice, or hunting. So maybe they, what they do is they double up so they can get products that'll work in both or something. So it's got a nice uh, separator here that you can put on the lid. Looks like a couple of plugs for watertight, nice tray in here. This is nice. I will definitely put it on my shelf of, put things in here if you wanna keep them dry when you're out on the water. These are really nice. In, in Plano Guide Series, this is a good quality product. I'm actually pretty happy about that. All right, and then last but not least, we got a white box. Let's see what is in the white box. Espresso Mocha from Black Rifle Company. I'm not really a canned coffee espresso kind of guy. Is that, oh, it's a box full of them. Well, there's four of them in here. All right, so we got four of what appears to be the exact same thing. Cans are dented up, which I would expect shipping in a box like this with all that open space in here. But this is what we're working with. Uh, we'll give them a try. Uh, it's got a good source of protein, 200 milligrams of caffeine, gluten-free, Black Rifle Coffee Company. Yeah, we'll give them a shot. So this is what we got. We got some, uh, some canned coffee. We got a uh, rugged handheld Topo GPS unit. We got a waterproof case, zipper lube, one lure, a multi-tool that does not have a knife in it, uh, an emergency bandage, and some flapjack protein pack powder cup of oatmeal or something like that. We'll say that the bandage is probably worth five bucks. We'll throw five on this, so that's 10. Not sure how much these are, we'll call it three dollars so that gets us to 13. not sure the value on this i'd say maybe 20 bucks for this guy it's a really nice quality case so that's 33 maybe five dollars for the lube to get us to 35. this guy's maybe a ten dollar item i'd call it uh, so 45 and then we've got some mocha espresso which you know maybe these are two dollars a piece so eight we'll just call it ten dollars so we're at so we're at $58, and so this would be, what, $105? Wonder if it's worth that, but. All right, so in summary, are these fish vault boxes worth it? In my opinion, I don't think so. I'd love to hear what you guys' comments are down below. A couple things of my thoughts. One, I don't think that the value's there. I put $160 into these. I don't know if I even got $160 worth of products, let alone more, which you're supposed to, I think, get even more than what you put into it, which is kind of the idea they get the volume discounts. Uh, I understand they have to be a profitable business, but uh, also a lot of this isn't really fishing gear. It's just outdoor gear. Uh, one of the boxes didn't even come in the branded box, which I guess I'm not, I'm not worried about that, but I don't know why I'm getting like, breakfast food and you know some of the stuff that I got. So I'm not impressed at all. I definitely will not be renewing and paying more money. I got all this stuff and I paid $320 of my own hard earned money towards it. So let me know your thoughts down below. 
It's not something that I would uh, go out and highly recommend unless you're into this type of thing. Maybe you hunt and you fish, then this could potentially be a good value for you. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you want to see more gear that I review on the channel, check out this video right here on the screen. And until next time, take it easy.